Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, also known as Harry Potter 2 on the HBO Max app, so thanks for that. So, as always, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the furry. To start off the furry, uh, there's pixies, house elves, basilisks, phoenixes, uh, spiders, cats, owls, rat, uh, furry cats, and, uh, you know, a more phoenix stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, moving on to the good and the bad. <laughs> Let me just start off by saying that I hated Dobby in this movie. Uh, minor spoilers, but like he makes up for it in future movies. So, uh, you know, he didn't die in this one. Um, so, guess that spoils what you, you thought Dobby was going to somehow die in this movie. But I really, really hated him. And everything that he was doing, I was just like, bro, uh, gotta ruin things for Harry. Also, Harry, when he's moving the cake, don't, like, hover near it. Either run over there and get it, or don't. Because this way, you look really guilty with what you did. Anywho, um, speaking of Dobby things, I thought it was really funny how, uh, you know, the thing that Dobby did caused Harry to break his arm, and then Fuck Duck McGee, like, made his arm all floppy. It was, it was, uh, it was terrible, but it was also really funny. Um, and just fuck that guy in general. Also, how, how do they let Ron continue life with that wand? Like, after a certain number of spells start backfiring into him, you know that that wand isn't good anymore. That's like, hey kids, here's your gun that only fires against you. Go have some target practice. Like, what are you doing? And we also know that Harry's rich, and I don't care if Ron wouldn't ask for a new wand. Like, the teachers should be like, you are a danger to yourself and others. Unless you get a new wand. Ugh. Also, um, what? why would they not just wait? Like, if they had just waited for them to finish dropping off the rest of the Weasleys, like, wait for the mom and dad to finish dropping off the other Weasleys, and then they'll come back. Like, okay, so you're a couple minutes late. You will still get there. You can wait for them to drive you there and touch the invisibility button before you take off from the ground. Like... Manufactured tension galore. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Anywho, and the, don't get me wrong, the car was an interesting character, but um, car ex machina, phoenix ex machina, twice, and then, uh, you know, hat ex machina. Like, there's so much deus ex machina, machina going on in this movie. It's a little ridiculous when you think about it. Um, also, when the thing happens to Hermione, like... Why does nobody check her hand? Like, seriously, how, how, what kind of a doctor is like, okay, so that happened, let's just leave her, we don't have to check over to make sure there's not any other, like, you know, she's not bleeding out anywhere else, or whatever, you know, just, just, it's cool, just heft her over there, like, fucking check her hands, bro, ugh, so dumb. Also, Tom waited just glow too much, and then, um, okay, so, kinda, Kind of minor, so I'm gonna kind of get into spoilers. I'm gonna try and avoid like the spoiler bits of it, but just inherent of my complaints, you will get some spoilers. So g go watch the movies, they're still good. Anywho, so, um, this big bad evil snake, right, gets a tiny little hole in his head from the very daintily armed Godric Gryffindor. Like, that dude, like, his sword is, it's not a fencing sword, so it's not a rapier because it doesn't have that. But it's so thin and short and small. Like, why is that your sword, bro? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, that, the Marines have, like, a bigger ceremonial sword than Godric Gryffindor's sword. Anywho, and that, that little tiny thing makes a little tiny hole in that, in that snake's head, and then it's dead. Like, really? Really? Whatever. Um, also, <laughs> that last scene with uh, Lucius Malfoy... They laid on the dramatic lighting so thick. I, I liked it. It was fun. But damn, was it just like... so? It reminded me of like one of those film noir type of things where it's just like, only the light across the actor's face. And I'm like, you're, you're in Dumbledore's office. How is this your lighting right now? But whatever. One of the things I did like was that Harry is a much better actor now, as is Hermione. And... Um, one of the things that continued to bug me, and this is this happens right at the very end, so, you know, spoilers, but 
Everyone's all ha 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 because Errol the shitty owl got lost trying to get trying to go to Agrid or Hagrid to get him out of Azkaban once they found out that like he was not responsible for the thing. And everyone jokes because he's like, oh, I would have been here sooner if some ruddy owl hadn't gotten lost. Ha 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 ha. No, that shit's not funny at all. Are you fucking serious? First of all, Ron, why would you choose your owl? The entirety of the Hogwarts Owlry is at your disposal, and you are going to go free your friend. So you choose your Fraggle McDuck to go do that? And then, so, I know that, like, technically in this movie, we don't know yet, but the Dementors are torturing the shit out of Hagrid every second that he's there, okay? Every second. So no, I will not laugh at the fact that he got stuck there for, I don't know if it was hours, days, weeks, probably weeks, that he was stuck there because fucking Errol and fucking Ron didn't get him released. So no, I don't find that funny. And even if it wasn't Dementors and it was just prison, still not a funny thing to get stuck in there longer because of shitty mail. Just saying. So no, not good. The other thing is, I get that it's not like the focus, but who won the House Cup this year? <laughs> they made a big, big thing about it. And then we don't find out who won the House Cup this year. Like, I kind of want to know. I know that, like, I still, I did like where they ended the movie in this one, but I still want to know. Also, speaking of ending this movie, this movie is two hours and 41 minutes long. I did not remember this, <laughs> but damn, this is a long movie, especially for what is ostensibly a kid's movie, because the first two, especially, I think were very much geared towards a younger audience. Not like... Super young, but like a younger audience than the next, than all the rest of them. And, and yet it's two hours and 41 minutes. That being said, it didn't feel that way, which is part of why I didn't remember it being so long. Because this movie uses every second of screen time that it has to tell its story. And they do a good job of it. So, I enjoyed this movie. The acting was much better. The characters that you hate, you really hate. And the characters that you like are coming into their own. I like the, the new magic that was introduced. I did think that it's kind of fun re-watching this, knowing the mystery and what have you. But, yeah, it's, it's still a fun time on a repeat viewing, which is cool. And the CGI is better. It's still not the best when they do the full body replacements. But, for the most part, I think that they they married a little bit better with the CGI and the practical effects um, a little bit better. So, still, fun time, and go ahead and check out this movie. So, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you the next one. Bye!